How are you doing? James Sparger here with JTEC, and I'm going to do a little instructional video on how to test a 7 pin J trailer connector, a 7 pin connector with the uh, Power Probe Mark III. Um, this just hooks up to your batteries to provide power. Positive to neg positive, positive, negative, negative. We'll do a test on it right quick to see if we get voltage. Red light shows that we have voltage, and it shows the voltage mark. We're going to show it. Green light shows that it's got a ground, and zero shows that uh, there's no excess voltage coming backwards. So, now, seven pin connector. Trailer wiring harness plug. Uh, your uh, control, pin wise, pin numbering are controlled by uh, SAE standard J560. Uh, each one's labeled in there with a the different color wiring. Um, which then would correspond to the, to the, uh, the wiring and such on the truck. So first I'm going to do the uh, current ground. So that would be the white connector up on top, so we'll plug that one in. And we get the green light, so that one is good. Um, and i got to assist it up with the cab of the truck. So we're next we're going to the brown wire, the brown connector, right here. And that one is for left hand uh, clearance marker lights. Right there it shows we got 12.1 volts. So we're going to turn on the uh, left hand certain turn signal please. Left hand turn signal which you can see on the truck the left hand turn signal is on. And on this one now it should be the, the green wire. Which now it's not showing it. And it just did a seven bit. Why is it not doing it again? There it is. Must have had a bad connection. And being that it's an intermittent sing signal, that it goes on and off. Um, all right, so we turn that one off, and then we can see that it stops. Next one we'll go to is our stop lights. So please press the brakes. Turns on, brakes off. Brakes release, light goes out. Now we're going to go to the right hand turn signal. And clicking on and off. Okay, good. And it functions to stop. Going to the marker lights for the uh, clearance light for the trailer. See, that's a constant 12.1. Now, the middle one's an auxiliary or a reverse light. See if we got reverse lights. Currently, we do not. We're going to have to start the truck and to put it in reverse. <clears throat> and the truck started. It appears in reverse. You hear the beeping noise going on? Go ahead, take it out of reverse. And light goes out. So that right there tests the continuity or the functions test for the uh, something connector. Uh, now we'll just disconnect this, put the thing back on. And this would be an adequate tra uh, wiring harness to plug into a trailer. That would then satisfy at least the power is getting to the trailer. Uh, of course, you still want to do a functions check of all the lights around the trailer after plugging it in. Make sure you don't have any bl blown bulbs, broke wiring, or any other loose connections. Uh, but this would be your first step. So, hope it's informative of you and for you. And, uh, Good day.